Hello, my lovelies. I hope you are all doing well. This is Leanne from Resin Shine Creations. In today's video, once again, I am working with Echo Pour from Just From You Online UK. This video is kind of a two part. So in first part, I will be showing how I make terrazzo chips and then in the second part I will be adding them to Echo Pour and making two trinket dishes and one little ways. So if you would like to see how it's all done, stay tuned and let's get to it. So here I am already measuring out my powder material and I'll be adding the fluid one and mix mix mix. If you are enjoying this video so far give it a thumbs up and if you like videos about resin and everything connected to resin uh, consider to subscribe. I do upload twice a week, every Wednesday and Saturday, so there is always something new to watch. And here are the colors that I will be using to make my chips. So I started with blue because I wanted something blue and then I decided to add red and make purple because red and blue makes purple. In the end I didn't add any white because I didn't feel the need of it. And here I am dumping my first half on a sheet of plastic and we'll add the red one. And after adding my colors and again putting on a sheet, I will spread them out and let them to harden and then make the chips. So I will put a little bit of music and see you in a bit.
Right, that part is done. And now we are moving to the next, which is making actually the trinket dishes and the vase. So once again, I'm measuring out my part of powder and liquid. I gonna mix them and then add the terrazzo chips. And now, quickly, quickly, it's time to add the chips to the mass material. And yeah, decide to add some more and just mix it all in and pour. So here are my molds and I've seen so many people use these little trinket dishes. And actually, working with resin for about a year and a half, I never owned one. So only now I purchased them because I wanted to see uh, and feel how it is to work with them. And after pouring, once again, I tried to get rid of the bubbles by using my brush and yeah it's you know need to experiment what works the best so yeah and after that i feel more and top some more And of course, silly, silly me, I miscalculated my uh, measures and didn't mix enough color. So here I mix some more and I'm not too worried about if it's too much mixed this time because once again, I can pour it on plastic sheet and make me some more terrazzo. So shake, shake, shake and let cure. And this is about one hour later. Uh, they are a bit warm and it's time to demold. And I know at this point shouldn't be anything too exciting on the other side it's gonna be just a gray trinket dish oh you can actually see a bit the terrazzo 
chips already emerging. So I put them on the mold because they need to cure properly as they are still quite fragile. Bit worried about the molding this piece because it's a bit of odd shape. And this is the first time that I make it as well. So I try to be very careful. And here we have it. So yes, I will leave them to cure and then we'll come back and show you how I sand them. So, in general, I am not a keen sander, but I thought that this sanding will be fast and easy. And as you see, after just a couple of minutes, here is comparing, you can see already the terrazzo chips appearing. So, it's not that hard. And of course, the more you sand, the more the pieces will come out and it's really up to you how much you want to show and this is how they look again after a couple minutes of sanding so I decide to leave it for now and get to the little vase and I wanted to show you and of course I wanted to see myself how it's gonna look well Anyway, I don't know how people sand them because if you have a business and you sell a lot of pieces every day, I think it's quite hard job to do it. And sanding these couple pieces, I lost my nails as well. So, yeah, if people use machine sander or I don't know is there some secret that makes the life easier please let me know but anyway here is the finished pieces and I'm super happy with them it is a good first try If you found this video useful and entertaining, please let me know by leaving comment down below. But for now, I'm saying goodbye. Until next time, keep creating. Bye.